Hey guys, thanks for coming on the show again. Today we continue our look at Marco Mars UKM, a modernized version of the UK59 series of Czech machine guns, except here made for the semi-automatic civilian market. Remember to check out Proxybit, they're a firearms auction website. They might have a UKM for sale on there, but I don't know, give it a try. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, the experience that we had in building the UK59, uh, it's a great weapon system, fantastic in semi for the shooter and collector, just like our uh, semi-auto PKMs were. However, both systems have their own little shortcomings and their idiosyncrasies that we really wanted to address. And since we weren't able to build PKMs due to the availability of parts, all going to Africa and the Middle East right now, we set about developing the best of both worlds in a single system. And that's what developed into the UKM. The first thing that we do is unlike the sheet metal receiver of the PKM, and if you're into weapons, if you're into guns, you know that countries build sheet metal receivered guns for two reasons, speed of build and cost. The life cycle on a sheet metal receiver gun is limited. As it's shot, the sheet metal will bend, it will warp. If you see any high-speed photography of any sheet metal gun, you see a lot of flex and a lot of movement. And eventually you'll get cracking around your rivet holes, you'll get cracking in the receiver, and it'll eventually stretch and fail. The UK59, however, just like the checks, and our UKM utilizes a milled receiver. And we start with a 40-pound block of, of steel spends eight and a half hours in our CNC machines and it comes out a four pound receiver uh, dimensioned exactly the, as the original did and the original receivers were literally rated to five million rounds of fire so that means a milled constructed gun is much more robust will last a lot longer for your investment the second thing that we did was unlike the UK59 which has the bipod on the barrel, just like our M60 did, which means when you take that barrel off, the bipod goes with it, we changed that. On the UKM, we added forward Picatinny rails, left, right, and bottom. We take the bipod and installs that easy. And then when you install a barrel, it's very quick. And the gun can remain on the bipod in firing position instead of being instead of basically messing everything up when you're firing the gun much makes barrel changes much quicker as well the other thing that we did is on the barrel itself we added our own design which is a self-adjusting gas system which instead of having to worry about multi positions on the 5.9 or the pkm this will automatically adjust to the ammunition that you're firing so you never have to worry about that, and you never have to worry about the gas adjusting plug rusting inside the gas port. Whenever you're shooting corrosive ammunition, which the vast majority, we encourage the shooting of corrosive ammunition in our guns, it's what they're made for. But whenever you're doing that, the gas system takes a pounding from the corrosive salts. And these, if you've ever messed with or shot post sample guns, they're notorious for rusting in place and you've got to break them loose and maintain them. On the UKM, we created our own synthetic nylon stocks. So unlike the UK59, which has wood, or the PKM, which has wood and some resin, we actually used modern materials. Uh, they're in, uh, basically not uh, impacted by your environmental con condition whatsoever. Added a Magpul uh, recoil pad on the back, and that's not only on the buttstock, but also on the pistol grip and on your barrel handle. So that was added. In addition, and things that we like about the UKM versus the other two systems is that when you, if you want to add an optic to the PKM or the UK59, unless you're finding an optic from the Czech Republic, this standard scope that goes on it, which are very expensive, or you want to buy a really weird aftermarket rail system, it takes a lot to add optics, especially if you want to go out and put your aim point or your EOTech on one of these. The UKM comes out of the box with that capability. We have a Magpul flip up and flip down sight, but we also added Picatinny rails right where you need them. And they're also the uh, sights. Our front sight is custom made as well. 
open top so you can get a lot of light on your front sight blade but they're also to the same height as an AR-15 so any standard AR-15 optic will co-witness when you apply it and when you put it on the rear Picatinny rail. Everybody knows that PKM part sets have gone through the roof. What the, U, what the Czechs always wanted to do was to have a gun that was easily maintained in the field. So if you, wanna, if you need to fix your feed pawl on a PK system, it's riveted into the gun, it's got to be drilled, it's got to be pressed out. You've got to find one out of what, a part set that right now is running five to six thousand dollars. The UK5, our UKM utilizes the vast majority of the feed system from the standard UK59. So if you're in the field and you break a feed, a feed paw, it's single one pin out, pull your feed paw off, maybe you got to dress it, maybe you got to put a new one in, but it's very simple, easy to fix. Put it right back in the receiver, put the pin in, and you're back in business. And all of these paws are just like that. If you need to, this is a holding paw, belt holding paw. Uh, it adds tension to the belt. All you've got to do is drive that little pin out, comes off with the spring. In your feed tray, two, all, two tension, a tensioner and a holding paw. Easily removed and maintained in the field. Drive the cotter pin out, drive it out with the spring, put your new part in and go. Right now, you can buy a complete UK59 part set somewhere south of $1,000. You can buy six complete part sets or more versus the price of one PK part set and you'd have enough parts to maintain this gun for generations to come. We also kept the barrel change capability of the UK59 on the UKM. It's so much faster. All you do on the UK59 or our UKM, pop the top cover, move it into the left position, pull the barrel out. On the PK system, you have to pop the top cover, you have to pop, pull up on the feed tray, you've got to manipulate this lever in order to pull the barrel out. We also, instead of retaining the original cone-shaped flash hider of the UK59, we actually copied the UK or VZ68, which is the UK59 that the Czechs still use to this day, uh, only in 308, once they joined NATO, we actually copied that flash hider. Looks very reminiscent of the Russian style PK flash hider. And so that comes on the UKM as well. We maintained the use of the UK59 belt. That belt is incredibly robust. We've been utilizing, we've shipped over 200 UK59s all over the United States. We torture tested our original prototypes with 50,000 rounds of ammo and each gun that we've delivered has at least shot a hundred rounds and we've shot them all from the same six belts and they continue to uh, continue to just soldier on through all of that abuse the neat thing about this is our receiver and the overall gun can be a lot shorter when it's totally put together because unlike a rear withdrawing belt that the PK uses comes in, this snaps over the uh, rim of the cartridge, pulls it backwards and drops it down. The UK59 utilizes a push-through belt on a rimmed cartridge, so the feed ramp is literally built into the belt itself. And the UKM, just like the UK59, accepts the 50 round assault can, snaps on right on the side, just like that. Bring it out to load, and you're ready to go. One of the really neat things about the UK59, and I'm sure we'll see it when you, you'll see it when you shoot, is the checks retain this pistol grip cocking feature. I don't know of it on any other gun, but what che the what ones the checks have made, the Czech military wants the gunner to keep their face on the stock and their fire control hand on the firearm. So at all times they want the gunner to stay in this position and continue with eyes on the target. So in order to charge the firearm, all they do is release the pistol grip, move it forward, it catches on the bolt, pull it back, and the gun is now cocked and ready to fire. We're going to deliver about 250 UK59 that looks like the original military, but we're only running 90 of the UKM. So it's going to be extremely limited in production. Uh, it's really for those guys who missed out on buying one of our semi-PKMs but really want the modern conveniences and modern features that an up-to-date weapon system can offer.